Let us consider. You need to think. Let us think. Let us consider. How to stimulate. The word stimulate means what? How do you provoke? How do you force? How do you do something with one another to do two things? Number one, to love and good deeds. The antidote for selfishness. When I join a group, I think, how can I bless these people? How can I encourage them? How can I provoke them to love and do good deeds? The antidote for selfishness is the invention of the Lord. Ecclesia, the church. The big group and the small group. If you are not part of a small group, how are you going to do the following? Forsaking our own assembly together as the habit of some, but encouraging one another. How can you encourage one another if you are not part of a small group? Do not underestimate the power of consistency. You do something right daily, it's going to transform you. If you do something wrong daily, it's going to affect you. For example, for most Christians, they neglect Bible study. One day, oh, it's okay. I, there's no effect. They stop going to the small group. Oh, seems to be okay. Ah, pretty soon, you'll be shocked of what has happened to your spiritual life. When I see people, I said, what happened to you? You used to attend Bible study. It's one little compromise to the next one. I remember the story of a friend of mine. Stop attending our weekly gathering. It's lowly, but surely. Remember this quotation about sin? Compromises, sin will take you further than you want. It will let you stay longer than you expect. It will cost you more than you think. That's the problem of sin. A little compromise here. Stop attending a small group. Stop attending worship service. And pretty soon, the impact in your life is so dramatic. You have no idea what has happened. So gentlemen, I don't know about you, but God has given us his people. We need one another. You need to be part of a small group.